Hallelujah to Jesus. We give God a praise. Let God be magnified forever in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. This is God's own channel with Evangelist Sarah. You are welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you. Please, family, like this video. Share, subscribe. Tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you. As you do that in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah, glory to Jesus. Child of God, you to humans, to humans, like to people, when they look at you, you are like you are too small in the sight of men, you know, to fight, to challenge the authority of the wicked. To this person, I want you to listen very well. In the sight of men, I say again, when people look at you with their physical eyes, their physical eyes, you know, they look at you like somebody who is too small to challenge the powers of darkness, to challenge the authority of wickedness, to challenge the law of disaster like they look at you like why are you fighting like this you are too small to them you are too small but there is a big god in you those that have spiritual insight they can see that there is a god that is bigger than any other thing and that god is bigger than any other gods that god is bigger than any other power and that god is in you the bible says fear not little children for ye have overcome the world. Hallelujah. Say, for I have overcome the world. Hallelujah. For greater is he that is in you than he, than them that are in the world. So there is a greater God that can do great things. There is a greater God, a greater God that can do great things. And this God is the God that is backing you up. Child of God, they, you make them mad by confronting them you confronting powers that no one have ever dared to confront in your community in your lineage in your family in your place of marriage in your place of week work you confronting those powers is making them wonder like who is this one that they are like who are you you small you know they can even call us any kind of name. Oh, you small rat, you this, you that, you this, you that. No matter the name they cause you, no matter the name they cause you, child of God, but you are bringing down even the highest rank wicked man or woman that have, that have been operating in your family, in your neighborhood, in the community. Hallelujah. In other words, you confront what no one has been able to confront before. When they look at you, they are like, you are too small. Who are you? You are too small. I will deal with you. I'm here to tell you, child of God, that they can't deal with you. If they would have been able to kill you or really deal with you, as they are saying right now, they would not do it the first time. They would have succeeded the first time that you challenge them. The reason why they are vibrating out, sometimes they point at you even in the dream, like they react and all of that. It is because they tried many times. They have failed. So they want that physical reaction now. For you to get that physical reaction and said, okay, this is it. I, I'm afraid they are threatening me. He said, don't be afraid. For Elisha said unto the Lord, open his eyes that he might see. When his eyes, when the servant's eye was open, the servant saw, the servant saw that the chariots that were with them, the chariots of fire, they were more than them that were against them. Hallelujah. They were more than those that were against them. Child of God, I repeat again, if they would have succeeded in killing you or destroying you, they wouldn't have done that the very minute that you challenge them the first time. 
Oh, they're lashing out that they're lashing out at you as you now. It is because they keep failing in their mission and they will continue to fail. You are making them so mad. How dare you, this small rat? How dare you challenge us? Don't be shaking, don't be afraid. For greater is he that is in you. Powerful is he that is in you. Mightier is he that is in you. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. The Bible recorded in the book of First Samuel. First Samuel chapter 17. In verse 42, the Bible said, When the Philistine looked about and saw David, he disdained him. He disdained him. For he was but a youth and ruddy and of a fair containers. He disdained him. What is this? What are you coming to do? Just go and see how Goliath ridiculed David with his attitude towards David. You will understand. You will understand that if people are looking at you now like you are too small to challenge what you are challenging, you will remember that even David as well was also called very small. Very small was also disdained. You understand? So this is these are the things that you should know. That in this journey, people will look at your physical size. They will look at your voice. They will look at your the background, how rich or worthy your family is. That is how they will now want to reach you. They, he looked at the size of David. He looked at him and he was a youth. Not even any of his maid or age maid that was in the army. That were confronting Goliath before. You understand. The Bible said, but for he was a youth and an effect of a fair containers. And the Philistine said unto David, Am I a dog? Am I a dog? You know, when you read this, you will see that this is really going. Like, oh, you think I'm a child that you are coming to with, with this? Who are you? What do you mean? You know. He said, and the Philistine said unto David, Am I a dog that thou comest to me with staffs? And the Philistine caused David by his by his gods. When the Philistine caused David by his gods, David did not die. If they would have succeeded, that is the moment maybe that David would have just fallen down and collapsed. So this is the Lord telling somebody, that very moment that they lay a curse on you, that they shouted at you, that they came and attacked you, that they came and pointed at you, if, they, if their causes or their mission would have succeeded, that is the moment that you would have just give up. <laughs> but because God is on your side, they look at your physical appearance, but they did not look at the one that is backing you up. You are not walking alone in this journey. For the Lord is backing you up. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory to our Father. <clears throat> and the Philistine said to David, Come to me and I will give the flesh unto the fowls of the air and to the beast of feed, of the feed. Then said David to the Philistine, Thou comest to me with a sword. And with a spear and with a sheet, when I come to thee in the name of the Lord of hosts, the God of the armies of Israel, whom thou hast defied, I come, I come to thee in the name of the Lord. You come in the name of the Lord, and when you come in the name of the Lord, there is no power there that can overpower you. You are standing up to high rock, which is a wizard. You are standing up to foundational power. You are standing up to territorial power. You are standing up to familiar spirit. Child of God, keep standing up. Hallelujah. Keep standing up. Glory to Jesus. Keep standing up. Yes, keep standing up. The devil is a liar. They can't kill you. Be bold. <laughs> Your boldness is what is making them mad. You know, 
The boldness of David was even walking Goliath. The moment that he called him the all circumstance Philistine, that is the thing, that is the time that Goliath died. It is not even the time that Goliath, that David confronted Goliath, that Goliath died. It is when David said, This one circumstance, who are you? This one, I will finish you. You understand? So you are a God, the God that you have is more powerful than any other thing. Child of God, I need you to understand that no matter how man they are, you are taking over territories. You are pulling down strongholds. You have become the battle ass of the Lord. And I pray for strength upon you and I pray that your fire will never go down. And I pray for somebody, may you never get tired. As I am speaking, I'm hearing Evangelist, I am, I am so tired of all of this. May you not be tired until you see the Lord. Until the Lord said, yes, my faithful servant, thank you. Until you receive your crown of life, may you not be tired in the name of Jesus. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you with the love of Christ. I remember your sister, Evangelist, by the grace of God, I will see you again. Bye-bye.